two, three, fire! Knights, Vikings, Samurai, Wulin, Outlander, four. Dude, they got Luke St. Pierre here. Oh my god, I can't believe I just heard that. No freaking way they got this guy. Luke St. Pierre, man. For the people who do not know, Luke St. Pierre has been the guy that has made the For Honor music over the years. Like, for each season of For Honor that we've had, he has been responsible for some of the most memorable music that has ever come to this game. <clears throat> and, dude, man, this, uh, the guy has done a phenomenal job. Man, dude, is, if Wano didn't have great music, man, that would be so bad. But luckily, this guy, Luke St. Pierre, he has been knocking it out with the amount of of great music that he's got, man. Ah, oh, dude. I can't believe they got this guy in here. Because I always wonder what this guy looked like. And we're back. We're oh, which was Luke St. Pierre? Again. Welcome back, Warriors. Thank you for sticking around which with one? us. Uh, That's I'll Luke St. Pierre. Ah, oh, man, here. dude. Uh, we Thank you, man. Uh, Thank you so much for the beautiful music that you've made, man. I am a fan of your work. Game, uh, which is something like, let, let's be honest. You know, when we play For Honor, it sounds amazing. Yep. Like, I mean, nobody can really argue that. The, the, from the music to the the acting to the 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 sound the swords make when they they stab into people, it's just it's so incredible. Uh, so I'm very excited to be able to to host this segment and uh, introduce uh, two amazing people who are with me on the couch today. Uh, one of which you may know, uh, but one you're meeting for the first time. Carl, it's your first time here. Do you want to say hi to everybody? Hello, uh, Warriors. Hello, Nolan. Yep. All right, awesome. Carl is our uh, lead audio designer on For Honor 2. And uh, we are joined by Luke, who is making a triumphant return after nearly, <laughs> like, <laughs> how many years? Like, it's been a couple uh, years. I believe it was three years ago, maybe four years. Three years, years ago. I mean, uh, the, the crew told me yesterday, but I guess I forgot yeah. already. So. Uh, well, well, hi, everybody. Well, well, Luke, welcome back. Damn, so uh, I think I might have missed some Warriors then. I have not seen tell everybody him before. How long have you this is my first time ever long. seeing him, dude. Uh, it started, uh, you know, uh, it was called the, it was a big, the big uh, revamp uh, mm -hmm. called Marching Fire. So I believe it was uh, season nine. Yeah. 2018, I believe. Uh, so yeah, since then it's been uh, yeah. a happy, I've been happy. Oh, I think I might have missed that, yeah. This, uh, franchise really. Well, well, I can tell you, my ears have been happy listening to all the music. So yes, if any of you out there have enjoyed the oh, music uh, since the, since Marching Fire, you got this guy to thank for it here. So. Uh, so thank you, so, again, thank you, good back. sir, for the uh, beautiful so, music yeah, that you've I, I made. From here, we're gonna just I can't wait for what you're going to do for year about, seven. Uh, you know, kind of what you do for, for the game, or like what it is that you what you do, how you bring the music here. So, Yeah, um, but a lot of uh, stuff, yes, but uh, I'm on the project since more or less one year. Mm -hmm. So I'm supervising the sound team to make sure that we deliver amazing assets and quality and time and make sure it's following very well the the vision of the project season after season. So I'm collaborate with other director and narrative one. Uh, this guy has a nice soothing voice. Make sure it happened well. And like it's sure calm. I collaborate with exterior provider mm -hmm. uh, as the sound studio for the voice actor, the actor, and also uh, composer as look for the project. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah. So uh, it's for sure it's a team working so we work with computer but we work also a lot with the people on the project we have a lot of collaboration to to deliver together to make sure that the vision is really clear years after years uh season after season in all the content so we need to understand where we come from and where we are going to make sure that uh the sound is evolving well really well season after season uh so it's why i'm working with <laughs> all this collaborator yeah awesome uh, and, and how about how about you, Luke? Yeah, well, uh, since we talk about collaboration, uh, after they've done all their work of uh, you know uh, the defining the character and the, and the mood of the season, uh, I guess my task is to interpret that uh, correctly. Sometimes you know I, I take weird direction, <laughs> and I am being uh, you know called to order. But um, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a um, you know they do a 
a nice job of uh, you know defining you know the parameter that I'm, go I'm gonna have to work with the character you know uh, the sometime and most of the time ge geographical uh, space or a place where we are era so uh, it's up to me to uh, take it all and uh, and to define you know the music to tell the story within my four minutes I have four minutes <laughs> to tell that <coughs> musically minutes, yeah. to tell that uh, that story wow that's basically, I mean, it's a big round. It's a, it's a quick roundup, but most basically, it's that for sure. Uh, well, again, really cool. And again, what you can do in four minutes of, of music is still like absolutely incredible. So very cool. Uh, so I mean, as we're we're talking about, you know, kind of the what goes into there. I mean, Carl, do you want to talk a bit more about, you know, how how do we get into a season? You know, like as far as the, the music, the production, the audio, like like how does that all come to play? Yeah. Uh, for sure, each season uh, it's a collaboration with everyone <coughs> in the project. So, foreigner teams, exterior partner as uh, Luc or or music supervisor too. Also, uh, but first we need to really clarify the vision exactly. So the keywords of the season, what exactly lead the season, uh, uh, what is the pillar of the season? An example: that this season, the Afira one. So uh, we need to clarify an example in the vision. So at the beginning, we talk about the celestial sphere, the mathematic, the astrology, all this aspect of uh, the season, the stars, the beautiful sky also. So when we start to talk about that, Afira. really quickly we say, oh, why not go with minimalist music with really strong ostinato and late motif that could be really well reflect the mood of the season. So at this point, we clarify that and then we talk a lot with Luke uh, what it means for you that and musically in the mood of Foreigner how we could build it and so a lot of discussion version he did a uh, lot, uh, lot of back and forth about that mm -hmm. so at some point uh, we were really happy and say okay now it's cool we're happy with that so do we need just re-record some instrument to make sure it's as good as we want and if yes, we do, and then mix it and put it in the game. So that's the kind of <coughs> work we do for that. Ah, ah, that's, that's really cool to think, like, to, to kind of hear, like, all the thought that goes into, uh, you know, the considerations you take, the thought that goes into. I love the idea of the mathematics, uh, of, of the approach of, of this idea of the celestial sphere. It's very cool, very cool. Uh, again, um, sorry. I'm, yeah. I enjoyed this. I'm enjoying the segment already. So <laughs> uh, it's very cool. So uh, that's awesome. So that's a bit about the process behind it uh, and for the vision there. Uh, and, and, you know, again, I think when we talk about the music of the season, too, you know, look, I, I mean, I've said it before, I'm a huge fan, but I know a lot of people out there are also big fans of the music and, and what goes into that. Uh, right here. Do you want to talk a bit more about right that? Here. maybe, you know, what's, uh, what's gone into uh, the music I, here? I could react to, you know, the what. Cal was talking about uh, <coughs> well, the last season, that the one we're in right now. Um, the sphere and the celestial and the, uh, the mathem mathematical and scientific aspect of it. If you try to bring that into music, there are things we can try. I mean, we're not sure that this is going to work, but um, yeah, the string of tinnitus is a mechanical thing, so it could maybe trigger. Oh, ideas yeah, you put the music in the background. Science. How dare you? Um, and melodically, you know, I was uh, making use of su successive fork, let's say, or fifth, uh, for those who are familiar with mm -hmm. some uh, musical term, uh, but it's pretty basic. But uh, yeah, so hopefully, I mean, these um, theory that we uh, that I used uh, in the music brought the people to think that this is like some kind of a mathematical and scientific uh, aspect. Uh, of the game ah. as for the sphere and the you know immensity and beauty of everything i had the beautiful voice of habi bozain mm -hmm. uh the the singer um, that we can hear and uh, a fun fact about the me using his voice was that i was given uh, his name and, and i watched on youtube the guy sing and i was blown away completely yeah uh, by his performance and i, I had goosebumps and i said okay I, I really want this guy and to get the team to get you know uh, a glimpse of what i was going to work with i took the uh, the youtube excerpt <laughs> and nice. and i and i and i wrote uh, you know the orchestral <coughs> score around it and uh, i usually would have had i would have had him redo it but i said we like it so why why redo it if we like it already so what i did i kept it did the orchestration and then i wrote the second part of the cue and i sent it to habib and i said now I wrote 
around your voice. Now you're going to sing on top of my music. <laughs> wow. um, and so this is how it was uh, basically uh, basically done for the season, the fourth uh, season. Ah. Yeah, that's super cool. Yeah. Um, and for the other season, I mean, if you want a glimpse of the uh, of the other ones. I would uh, love a glimpse of the other yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. We we want, it was. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I mean, this whole all year right, six, all right, like all, right. all the year six. Please, okay. please. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> uh, we well, let's go. Let's go backwards. And sure. Started with sure. season four. Let's go with season three. Oh. Um, it was the the demon dagger. <coughs> yeah. And um, and talking about collaboration, I also have my collaborator, uh, the musician. So Habib was an inest inestimable. Or valuable, or how should I say? Anyway, I'll accept both of them. A very, a yeah, very, a very both. important part of my, uh, of my, uh, of the beauty of the queue. Um, and for each season, I rely on these uh, very uh, good performers. So for uh, the Demon Dagger, I had uh, Maya Kuroki, mm -hmm. um, who was doing the Demon voice. So oh. I mean, whenever you put uh, a microphone in front of her voice, uh, y y you're you're going to be scared. I mean, she is <laughs> she is an instrument in itself. Um, so and I think people would like to know that or uh, you thought it was a funny fact that she was also the voice of Hito Kiri. That's so. yeah and that's the thing. <laughs> oh okay it's revealed oh. now. So. No, it's, <laughs> it's a great fact because again pe people people kind of like had that thought you know and they remember all the way back to the Hito Kiri trailer and kind of like the, the the raspy like like you know ethereal voice of the Hito Kiri and I I know I saw you know people discussing about the Yogomo when it was released and I'm like wow they sound like maybe they could be sisters or something or there's something there but uh, turns out there's a reason for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So anyway, I thought they got a new voice, uh, a very, uh, voice uh, of a very helpful of that. But no, it was the person that is the voice of Hino Kitty. That's awesome. Yeah. Like the rest is almost <coughs> accessory. So good she is. And if we <coughs> keep going down, uh, we're uh, at uh, no, uh, season two yep. of uh, year six. Um, the curse of the scarab. Yeah. Uh, uh, and who does not think about a duduk when he sees <laughs> the desert, or you know, thinking about Middle Orient. So uh, I was blessed with this uh, Dudu player in Armenia. His name is uh, Tsigran Alexanian. I like to say the name because these people deserve uh, their moment. Yeah, uh, so it's, the, it's their moment right now. Uh, so Tsigran, uh, I mean, I sent him a track. He's in Armenia and he booked a studio um, and he took my track and he played his Dudu on top of it. And he sent me all the tracks. And like many other composers do, I suppose, they, we, we, you know, we cut it, take chunks. I mean, he had many takes that he, he sent. And I choose the best part or the one that fitted the best, and that's how uh, the track was built. Wow. Um, I mean, it's, it's not rocket science uh, at some it point. It sounds a you know? little like maybe brain surgery, at least, you know. Well, but uh, I mean, you know, there's yeah. writing, there's montage, there's like uh, sitting and listening, and oh, good, not good. It's all decision making uh, yeah. at some point. And to to finish uh, season 21. Um, uh, I have a, a soft spot for <laughs> season 21 because really I have good. a very soft spot for Coral Egan voice. Um, Coral is Irish. Um, and if I'm wrong, please let me know. You know, I'm open to being, <laughs> uh, to being corrected. But, um, and we wanted some magical, uh, mystical thing uh, with the season 21. Um, uh, so, yeah, uh, you know, Gaelic voice, uh, these kind of uh, territories, uh, elf. Elfic, uh, elfic uh, feeling. So, um, because she, I believe, was uh, she is uh, Irish. Uh, Gaelic was not that complicated for her, mm -hmm. but we still hired a, uh, a vocal coach to make sure she had the right intonation. But her voice is just wow. I I, I listen to this and, and I'm <coughs> just in awe every time. So. I, I want to All the songs for this year, guys, have been uh, awesome. Here. So thank you. From season one, <laughs> season two, season uh, three, and now season that's four. That's four. Up, you know, All of the music for year six have been awesome. Uh, you know, uh, it's uh, it's pretty much how uh, it's being done. Well, it sounds really cool, and and I don't know because I was so focused on you. I don't know if we we played. We had uh, uh, Max. You played already. I'm sorry, I was too focused on you. You got to see some <laughs> of the studio going by. I, I missed it, but yeah, it was really good too. Uh, but yeah, you know, it's just uh, it's incredible to see. Uh, you know the, I don't know. So, so it's just it's really incredible to see like all the work that goes into that, and and really just all the, you know, I, I think sometimes you know maybe we we take a bit for granted, you know, just when we boot up the game and we start to hear the music of the new seasons and they come in, and uh, how much work and effort uh, goes into that, just from the conception phase to. It's always a bit of a stress too. Oh well, I, stress. I, not a big stress, but I mean, I hope every season, you know, I will be at the height of it. 
that is expected yeah. from the team and from the people who play and uh, I've shown appreciation so I appreciate you know uh, to, to work on that all the time but yeah. you know there's always a bit of a stress or is yeah. it gonna, gonna be good this year <laughs> <laughs> even for me yeah. Well, again, I, I think uh, I know a lot of people liked it out there. And again, if you if you were one of those who really enjoyed all the music uh, that was composed uh, for year six, a uh, special treat for you. On February 3rd, you're actually going to be able to uh, download the uh, the OST, or hey. I guess the original, yeah, the original game uh, soundtrack. Uh, and there's a link there. You'll see it in the chat if you want to go. Uh, but it's it's free. You can just go and, and follow the link, uh, and uh, you'll be able to, to download that. So it'll be released on February 3rd. So, yeah, you can just listen along to all the amazing work that went into that. So th Man, thank you so dude, much. Man, six is almost done. Um, we have two Absolutely. months left until year cool. um, seven. But to now kind of switch gears a little bit now, we've... Um, <clears throat> oh. All right. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so now we're gonna roll the video. Okay, see, I'm misunderstood. So, <laughs> Ocean Way, Nashville. Oh wow, look at all those records. Wait, so well, this is, is the video I was talking about. I thought I missed it, but yeah, this is. Wait, uh, so this is where they like, record all, all their uh, all My the music. Friend. Yeah, yeah, you're. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, this is Ocean Way, as you can see in Nashville. They recorded uh, uh, the the. We do strings apart from the brass because the brass are so loud. Then I cannot mix the strings anymore after. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, yeah, and it gives me some uh, liberty, you know, to uh, maybe sometimes copy sections. This is a, yeah, even with the orchestra recording, uh, there is a bit of a, a montage. Um, and uh, what you've seen just a bit earlier. I so really like it how they're CCTV doing the recording in the uh, in the uh, cathedral. Uh, That's uh, really in awesome. The, uh, in the belly of the <laughs> <laughs> of the beast. Oh, in a church, uh, my bad. Basically. So yeah, uh, I mean, we, we do, I, I have to do mock-ups um, and to, uh, so the team can have a, a good idea of how it's gonna sound ultimately. Mm. Is that a tease um, for the, uh, the, the, new, the next season's new music? Sound library that are uh, available for <laughs> uh, a composer. Nah, would that be awesome if yeah, that awesome. was a tease? So, yeah, how dare you nice don't tease us bonus, uh, and uh, <clears throat> thanks to Ubisoft actually to uh, even uh, allowing this yeah. um, is, uh, I feel very uh, lucky for that uh, but yeah uh, all the sound bank uh, allows me to do a nice mock up and then after we re redo it with real instrument and mix it all up together alright super cool alright well I'm so glad we got to share that video again because it's nice. <laughs> so it was great so thanks Max appreciate that behind the scenes there. <laughs> okay <laughs> sorry um, it, so yeah, but uh, so where I was going uh, prior to that, though, I wanted to, to switch gears back and, and talk to Carl a bit more about the Ephira now. So you know we've introduced the Ephira. This is what this whole Warriors Den's about. Is is you know you saw the the character, the reveal trailer. You learned about the narrative, saw the armor sets. We talked about the the gameplay and the animation. But there's also a lot of uh, you know work that goes into the audio, what the character sounds like, the voice acting, all of that. So, Carl, do you want to uh, talk a bit about what goes into you know bringing the voice of the Ephira to life in our game? Yes, uh, for sure. Forner is a fighting game, so it's very important for us to put a lot of energy on the voice, but mostly on the barks. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't mean barks as a dog barks, <laughs> but mostly uh, onomatopoeia. Yeah, oh no, it's uh, audio uh, terms here. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. So uh, these honor for us are really important because it's a fight game and we want to understand exactly what we do, what we does, and what enemy does uh, mostly during the, the battle fight moment. Mm -hmm. So that is the first challenge we have to make sure it's really clear, really efficient too. And we need to, to find a good language for each character, new character we are bring in the games mm -hmm. because it's bring all the the mood from him it create authenticity to the character so we work really hard to find the best actor in the world that yeah. could speak this specific language to make it as amazing it should be yeah. so uh that is another challenge an example afira is arabic but not modern one it's classical one so we need to pay this attention to find the good one why because we have a lot of Hono in the fight, but some specific movement related only to Afira uh, that make Afira unique in the games. Mm -hmm. So this specific fight mo movement, we want to cover with a bit more lores in that. So we, we asked the scriptwriter to write some lines we spoken during the fight just to make it more realistic and with the beautiful background that it should have. So. That's another part of the challenge we have. 
Yeah, also in the Afira trailer. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. If I'm right, we yeah. have Afira lines that come from a specific fight movement. So I don't know if you will find it next time you check the trailer, but pay this attention. Mm -hmm. So again, in the trailer, uh, not the trailer, but uh, in what we need to do for the specific actor, because when we record it, we know uh, which movement he does, mm -hmm. but we don't know exactly in one year, in e whatever the number of season, what will be the new content, new execution we need to cover with that. So, in fact, we absolutely need to record a bunch of usable asset that we we may use for create the next execution. So, with specific intention, specific emotion that we that we be usable to create. Uh, or next intention in the execution emote or whatever. Mm. But the challenge it is every character may use maybe this shared asset uh, or execution or whatever. So it should be really coherent around every character we done for the player. So an example, if the character laugh in the game, uh, the laugh should be similar in attention, projection, emotion, duration, all these aspects among all the characters, so all the actors, to make it efficient and similar, but with a small personality for each character. So uh, sounds like a lot of a lot of thought and work goes into again finding the right voice voice actor actress in this case, and yeah, making sure. So it's it's definitely not just somebody in the office just oh yeah, we're gonna read a script today. It's like no, we put a lot of work into finding just the right person for that, and uh, yeah, it really helps bring bring the heroes to life. So that's amazing. Yeah, very cool. Uh, well, thank you so much for, for walking us through all of that, and uh, thank you again, Luke, for, for sharing all of, you know, uh, yeah, that deep dive, uh, that super quick, uh, I could have definitely, uh, uh, you know, gone deeper in, you know, sometime, but uh, on all the music and everything that goes into Luke that. Luke St. Pierre really is the so, G uh, thank you very much. Great stuff. for so the thank amount for of for beautiful Pierre music and, uh, that he's yeah, we'll made, have man. have you back sometime uh, in the future to, as we have more music and, and stuff to talk about in the future <laughs> at a later time, at a later time. Later. We'll, go, oh, we'll go for that. Uh, so that's, uh, that's about it for this segment. So we uh, stick around, though, because we're going to come back. We're going to wrap up a bit, going to show you a bit of the fun content of the week and things coming out uh, very soon. So uh, we'll see you very soon. Oh, God. We'll you guys. The audio went out. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. That was awesome. Dude, I, I finally got to see what Luke St. Pierre looks like.